Now I'm going to hang this back piece here. I got it centered on the frames. And then I, I hang it off the back like that. I spaced it up 3 sixteenths of an inch above these, these, these cross members so the deck can sit down in there. So when I get the decking, it'll it it's recessed for the decking. The decking will sit down in there real nice. And I measured from from the first cross that I already zapped in up there to the back. It's exactly eight feet. So now I'm gonna hang this back piece right there, and then I'll carry on. Okay, we got the side hung, same thing, spaced it up 3 sixteenths of an inch to allow uh, room for the decking to sit down so the sides and the decking are at the same height when it's finished. So we made sure to get our 3 sixteenths spacer in there. And then we got it even back here. That one's already spaced. We join the two right there, and I'm just going to tack this into place, and then I'm going to slide in a couple more of these joists, these cross members, and I'll make two joists to frame out the the scissor assembly. The two joists will go fore and aft on either side of the scissor assembly. So I'm going to get this tacked up. Okay, got the layout happening right now. So I don't want to pin this back one in just yet. I don't want to put it in yet because I want to fabricate the joists. They're going to go in between this beam and this beam. And it's late. I don't think I'm going to do it today. So it'll make sense why I'm not going to tack that in yet. And the whole reason that I want to tack this in is so I can figure out my spacing for the rest of these guys. I want to space between this one and the very back. I want to divide the spaces evenly. But I don't want to lock this front one in until I make my joists. So that's the next step. Fabricate the joists to frame this scissor assembly and tack them in. And then I can center this one. Because I could center and weld this right now and then tack it here but it doesn't do any good this isn't going to be supported until I get a nice tack back here somewhere and again I, I don't I'm not going to do my layout until I get these joists figured out so that's my block right now that's my bottleneck right now so see you in a few
okay cutting cutting the joists right now that go on the sides of the scissor assembly so I'm basically boxing this thing in so I can continue to put cross members uninterrupted well actually they'll be interrupted but at least I can keep my 10 12 inch centers down here and the only gap in this thing will be to allow for space for the scissor assembly so I'm gonna have to cope the ends of this thing to fit inside here so that's my next trick I'm gonna do two two of them cope cope this C channel to fit inside here like this that's what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna do it two times okay the way that I do it I put this up here like this and then I just mark a line and then I use my speed square and mark the lines on the sides then I'll take uh, I'll set the blade real shallow on the skill saw and I'll just cut here and I'll do the same on the other side and then I'll use the porta band to cut the rest of this and then when I'm done it's going to fit right inside right inside the other C channel real nice and make a nice weld she is all plugged in coped notch cut fit to cut cut to fit and that's what she looks like and we'll just copy that on the other side and then we can finish tacking everything together tack up the other side and then I may have to get some more four inch channel to put a couple more crosses two more crosses in here on either side of the scissor assembly but for now, we can get that in. Okay, now that I got this one set, this one set, on the other side of the box the frame for the scissor assembly and the last one set now I'm just going to divide the spaces equally and that'll keep us between where I want to be which is 10 inch and or 12 inch centers they're going to be a little different this this gap is going to be a little different than this gap up here but that's okay because uh, so long it falls between 10 and 12 inches that's my mark where I want to be and it will do that and then I'm gonna cut these these two remaining channels up right here and fill them in right here they're gonna be 30 inches so I'll fill in this and keep keep the theme with the 10 or 12 inch spacing whatever makes sense and I may do like sort of a gradient for the rest we'll have to see but main thing, I'm going to keep keep the centers under a foot. So that way when, when we put heavy loads on here or piles of dirt or whatever, then we won't get hollows in the plate over time. It'll just keep it real strong, keep it sturdy. So we're going to hammer on.
Okay, we got this side tacked in. Well, we just ran a little pass right there. We were starting to get get it locked together. So I tacked this side first, then I weld that side so it doesn't roll over. Run a little pass, and then uh, we got our we got our uh, scissor assembly boxed in. And now I'm gonna space these last four in the back and get those tacked in. And then I'm gonna hang this other side, the um, passenger side, side. And then uh, I'll cut two more crosses for filling these two gaps on either side of the scissor assembly. And then we'll get a good look at, at all the framing for the entire deck of the flatbed. That'll be it. And then, uh, then I'll come come back here, and I'll work on these these 45s, the corners. I'll do do my miters on either side here, and we'll get those welded in real nice. And then I'll TIG this the um, inner miter. I'll TIG weld that just for appearance, and we won't grind it down or anything. We'll just leave it looking real nice. And then um, I'll blast MIG blast weld all this this framing out except for anything on the top because we're going to lay the decking down and we don't want boogers or anything to to keep it from laying down flat so that's where we're at here we go Okay, so we burned up a tip, but it's it's just a little sticky. It's not the end of the world, so I'll just replace it. I'll put a new tip on, and we can clean up that other one a little later.
okay short joists is cut cross members 30 inches right there to right there box in the scissor assembly space everything under 12 inches to keep everything nice and flat when we put the decking on and strong no hollows only tack 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 here and there no need welded out solid yet and we want to keep everything straight we didn't we don't we don't weld anything out yet because we'll create shrinkage and warpage where where we don't want it like for example this these cross members right here I didn't weld solid right here yet because it will this will shrink and bend in and then this cross will be shorter if I welded that already then this one be short and then we'll end up with a wiggle here this is why we weld last and then back here back corner not not welded solid yet because again we want to keep it straight trying to keep things nice and straight over here we got to connect this before we weld that if we did it backwards if we weld that first then the back of this will bend inwards and then we'll have an ugly joint when we go from here to here it'll it'll wiggle so we don't want to weld there just yet we'll wait till we connect the two and then we can weld that last same thing keep everything straight get everything tacked in get all of our crosses tacked in over there and then we can start welding it out and that just keeps things straight we want to keep the sides as straight as possible so just tacking 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 until we get all of this cross members in very tempting to weld over there before we have these in but again it will shrink this side and then these will be cut short and then we'll have a wiggle in this side so we're not going to do it like that all the cross members in scissor assembly boxed in and the last two things to do are the 45s on the rear end and we'll do those next. And once those are done, then I'll put the final welds on everything, on the aluminum. And we'll move on to building the, the back of the cab. And that's it, it's all for now.